What's poppin' family? Hope all is well. It's your boy Lando Success with Top Sports Debate. So this is our first time doing our DraftKing bets. So the goal with our DraftKing bets is we're going to do money line type of bets and over and unders. So it's not going to be as high percentage as our fan duel bets with player props and safer bets because they don't have it over here. We are going to figure out how to win and do it consistently on this side. I'm going to need you guys help because since I really never use DraftKings, I see they have all type of like bonus bets and things. Y'all got to help me out with that because I don't know what the hell going on. But as long as we make money, as I learned, then we ain't mad at nobody. So for y'all that don't know already, we do have the Patreon I just started. If you guys want access to these bets early. So I posted this bet probably two hours and a half ago. You'll have access to it before the odds change and all that type of good stuff. Link in the bio or be pinned to the top of the comments. Okay. All right. So the bets for today is not good. What I'm looking for. Okay. First, let's cover the money line. We're going to cover the money line over and under, and we're going to break it down. What I like, what I don't like. So first we have the Utah Jazz. Let's see. Actually, let me put all the games right oh shoot see look y'all know i don't know there we go what i'm doing all right so i'll just show it show it like this so we got the san antonio spurs going against charlotte hornets the hornets just played good the last game and now they are playing against one of the worst teams in the nba or i believe the worst team is probably them or the rockets or the pistons one of three i got them to win straight up Lamelo ball should be in his back today Straight up. Don't I ain't taking the spread. I ain't taking the over and unders. I'm not a big fan of over and unders. Bulls game, I am leaving this alone because the Rosen is out. So it's going to be a lot on Vucevic when I have bets on him. But actually, I do get that over there. So I'm leaving that alone. New York Knicks and the Hawks. I am also leaving this alone. But if you want to get freaky, I do like. Actually, bump it. Let's add this. Let's let's add this to it. So they have Atlanta Hawks to win by three and a half. We are about to up New York Knicks to 10. So we're doing alternative spread and we are doing New York Knicks. I do like that. New York Knicks plus 10. 10 and a half. So that means if New York Knicks loses, they can lose as long as they lose by 10 or less points. All right, now let's get back to NBA. All right, so we got them alternate spread. And do, 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 do. Cleveland and the 76ers. I did Philly plus six and a half. So I did an alternate spread on Philly also, plus six and a half. Meaning Philly can lose, but they can lose by six. This is a pick them game. Pick them meaning it's even. You just pick a team. They don't know if it's going <laughs> to, they don't know what the odds are, just a pick them back. So next you got the Nets. The reason I got the Nets to win by a lot is because everybody and their mama in a Miami Heat um, organization is not playing today. If we go to it, let's go to scores. Look at Miami Heat. We look at it. Kyle Lowry is out. Djokovic out, Hero is out, everybody is out. <laughs> so you got Bam and other. You know, you're going against Bam and other. So Brooklyn, even with New Brooklyn, they should be able to win this one easy. That's why I'm predicting. If not, they um they need to go jump somewhere. Next, we got the Utah Jazz to cover the spread. They have the Utah Jazz to get whooped on by the Grizzlies. I don't believe they're going to get. I, they could lose. But I don't see them losing by over nine points. So I think this is a good steal bet unless they know something that I don't know. So if you know something I don't know, then, uh, you know, stay away from Houston and OKC because OKC easily should win this game. But you can't win money really off this. So I'll stay away from 10 plus odds, really. Denver versus the Mavs. Mavs is on a two-game winning streak with Kyrie and Joke. Um, and uh, what's his name? Not Joker. Um. I can't even think of his name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So they've been losing, and I'm picking Denver straight up because Denver is at home. I think Joker's going to go nuts. 
I'm leaving this game alone because we don't know what the hell them Lakers are going to do and why they're going to do it. So these are all the bets that we have. Don't add this into a parlay. I know y'all always like to parlay everything I do because this is a very low, I mean, this is a very high risk parlay. You just pick individual bets. Bam, once. Because say, for example, five of these hit and two don't. You still win money. So that's what we kind of really aiming for. Now, on the over and under, I get that on the Patreon. See, look, look how long ago. Let me reset it so I can show you guys how long ago I posted this. So Patreon, yes, it's not cheap. It's $20, but if I'm helping you make good money, my time is, is definitely worth it in my honest opinion. So I'm giving you guys what to watch out for. Give me guys some picks. Okay, here we go. Over and under. All right, here. So I got LeBron James points, and I picked the under. He is coming back from an injury and a scoring title. Could re-injure it, not re-insure it, and, <laughs> and be limited minutes plus he can be cold. Landa, what you mean by that? That's a lot of points for Buddy to score, and he ain't played in a few days. And that leg or ankle whatever is his foot bothering him he could be on limited minute minutes we don't know i think this should be easy under unless brown brown just say screw me and, and go nuts but whatever whatever is so i'm looking for okay then you got brunson the reason i'm picking brunson over is because he's been hot he's been so hot ride him until you get cold no homo well i got up fine Fine. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Brunson. So, Brunson, he don't, you know, he ain't averaging good against him 15 points, but that was then and this is now. This is what Buddy been doing. 40, 38, 30, 25, 21. That's crazy, dog. You got to just ride Buddy into, um, until he get cold at this point. So, what we got, Brunson, over 27 points. I say just keep, you know, that's a good over. Ride with it. And if it don't hit, it don't hit. Ride with it until you do it. DeMar DeRozan is out. So you got uh, Vucevic. They got his, I don't think this was 15.5 over. I got to change. What was his over? Okay, okay, okay. Change. Think, 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 think. Why can't I? Brain fart. Okay, let's see. What was Vucevic over over here? Let's try it. Player rebounds. Because I don't think I did that right. I hope you guys didn't do that. Zach bet. It's 12. That's why. Okay, it's 12.5. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why I got it like that. 12.5. So I got to change that. Hold on. Let me pause this video and change it. All right. I got it changed. That was irking my nerves. So, 13.5, that means 14 rebounds. That's a tough one. That's a bet everybody don't have to do type of deal because 14 rebounds is a lot of rebounds, dog. But let's see what Buddy can do. 13 rebounds last game. Game before 14, the game before 17, the game before 17. So, he's going to have 12 through 17 rebounds. Hopefully, could be over because... We have one less person grabbing some rebounds, which is Rosen. Now you got another person going to be in. But against the Pacers, Pacers last time, he only had eight rebounds, but it was at Pacers. And do, 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 do. where this one. And he had a seven game. So it should be under. It should be under, but I'm going to ride with him. You know, so that's a, that's a tough one. Make sure you're careful with that one. SGA with, with I believe, was it five assists? Five assists. We did over. It might be a blowout, and he might leave early. If you leave early, you don't want to get stuck trying to hope he scored a zillion points. So the last time he played at Houston, he played them back-to-back. And was it, is he playing Houston today? I believe it is Houston. 
Do, do, let's go. Game lines. Okay, C. Is, yep, they're playing the Rockets. All right, making sure I get that right. Now you look at it. Last time he played Houston, he dropped 42 points. That was at home. The game before, he dropped 24 points. So it could be a 42-point game or it could be a 24-point game. Blowout, 42. Not a blowout, loss, 24. So I wouldn't deal with points, but I would go towards assists, and I think he's going to have a good, like, an eight-assist type of game. So these are the bets I like for DraftKings. Let me know your thoughts, all that good stuff. If you're interested in Patreon, early bets. If not, I'm keeping – I'm keeping – I am still dropping content every day. Talk to you all soon. Lego.